My name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. I've got a lead screw here that is completely worn out. It belongs to my surface grinder. As you can see, there is a lot of slop in there. This screw is basically worthless. It is usable. Luckily, the direction that it moves, it moves the table in and out on the surface grinder. Isn't super critical because you can put a gauge on it and work with it that way. It's not like we're trying to thread something, but I would like to get it back into tolerance. So let's take a look at this screw right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to approach this at a different way. I could take a solid piece of three quarter inch stock and make this, but I decided to get a pre-made screw for it. And here it is. It's beautiful. It's simple to work with. I just have to cut it, you know, mill the end, cut it to length, and go to work. The challenge with any type of threading on a shaft like this or a rod is there's a lot of flex and a lot of give to it. And I would have to use a follow rest, which I can do that, but I just didn't want to get involved in it because there's a lot of challenges to that. And I decided it would be faster and easier for me just to buy a piece of all thread that is, you know, properly made and ground. So all I have to do is machine this end down to match this. Now you'll notice that this section here has no real significance to it if you look at it. The bearing fits about in this area here. This shoulder is just an extended shoulder. Now I don't have to put that shoulder on there, but I'm going to to show you an exercise of what if you had to have that shoulder on a shaft like this. And I've got a little trick for you. What we'll do is we'll mill this down and we'll slide a sleeve over it, glue it on, and then turn this to size. Very cool, very simple. Actually, we might solder it. I'm not sure. We'll decide a little bit later. So this is a, just a great, fun project. So right now, we're going to head over to the closing lathe to do this project. Come on. Here we are at the closing lathe. I've already indicated the all thread into position, so I'm ready to turn the first part of this. Now, if you want to learn how to indicate all thread, I did an entire video for that, and there'll be a link at the bottom of this video that'll show you that. So let's get to work here. We need to face this off, and then we're going to bring in and drill a hole so we can set a center to it. That was easy. Now we're going to pull this out and reindicate and set up a new life center for this. Okay, we've got that dialed in to a tenth of ten thousandths of an inch. What we're going to do next is we're going to turn down this surface here for this sleeve. And it's just a little over the size of this bearing, and we'll turn the entire length of the shaft at this diameter. So the shaft has been turned down. I have a new sleeve. It fits a little bit loose, which is okay because we're going to solder it actually into place. Very simple to do. We're going to take some flux, pour it on here. It's actually heat activated. Okay, we've got the flux on there. Now we're going to, like I say, solder this into place. And we're going to heat it up. And the solder itself will actually do what's called a capillary action. As soon as this heats up, I touch it with solder. The solder is going to pull all the way into this and seal it up.
this is like soldering copper for plumbing joint. Very similar, except we've got a lot more mass that has to be heated up before the, so before the solder will melt into place. I was going to shut it off from rotating, but this will actually be a more accurate way to let it cool. One of the challenges I'm really concerned with is, did we warp this? And there's only one way to find out is turn it down and find out. But it looks pretty solid. You can see how the solder just got pulled right in there. We'll find out if this is a successful way of doing it. Another way of doing it, of course, would be super glue. I've seen a lot of people be very successful at that. I unfortunately am not one of those. We're gonna let this cool down and we'll start turning it in just a few minutes. finished up. There's a few things I'm going to do off camera just to clean up a little bit, put some chamfers on it and that kind of stuff. But the great thing is the soldering worked really well and I think this is a great technique to repair lead screws. So now for part two, we have to build this part. We have to make this nut look like this. Boy, one of these is not like the other, is it? All right, guys, give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some great positive comments, and until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.